Hey up, welcome back. Right, today we're looking at this MN MN 99S Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, I've got a few upgrades for it this time, so I'll show you these. We'll get a quick test without doing any upgrades, and we'll stick the upgrades on and see whether it's made any difference. Right, so what we've got here first off is some uh, some nice portal axles uh, if you don't know what portal axles are I'll just show you on here if, uh, if I can get you in some better light um, if you look where the axle comes across it goes into the centre at wheel comes out so your gla uh, gland, ground clearance is from here. Let me see if I can show you. So that's how much clearance you've got. But with these, you see uh, where your wheel drops on, uh, screws on. It's lower than the actual axle. So, ah, so the axle looking at that it's going to be near nearly like probably three quarters of an inch higher um so i'm hoping that these will actually give it a better turning radius as well and they're all upgraded inside these are all full metal um drive shafts and everything that runs through it uh, for quite a bit of weight to them actually to be honest for you um i think the actual housing itself is still uh, made out of plastic but i'm excited to see what a difference they is make and then here we've got some new uh links that's for there should should be a replacement for these plastic links. Uh, new shocks, got some metal shock upgrades because these are a bit pants to be honest with you. And then we've got some metal drive shafts to get rid of these flimsy plastic drive shafts. And then this is just a, a decorative section that fits on the bonnet um so what i'll do is uh so let me zoom you out of it i'm proper crap with this uh camera angle we'll get it on floor we'll have a look at what the turning radius is of it standard i've not done any anything to this as yet so we'll give it a go see what the turning circle is on it uh, then we'll see what sort of hill it can climb and see how fast it is and then I'll do all these upgrades and we'll see whether these make any difference on the uh, turning radius which I'm hoping to do because it, it's not it's not brilliant to be honest with you um, they might also gear it down a little bit I don't know what we're being portal axles it's got a separate like gearing system in in this end of it so it might actually move slower but might have more torque so it's that's one thing i've noticed with this it's a bit it's, it's a bit underpowered you come to a a good obstacle it's it just stops moving um you know it, it's not very powerful i think ideally uh, a motor upgrade would probably make it a lot better as well but we'll stick these on for now see how it goes so i'll just like i said we'll do a quick test now and then we'll put these on and do another test first off we'll do a speed test from one end of the rug to the other so three two one right let's try it in reverse three two one 
Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. You know what I mean? It's it's just a bit underpowered, I think. So now we'll go to edge it rug here, and we'll see full lock. And see what the turn, what it turns like. We'll go slow, just to try and get it to turn as best as possible. But as you can see, it's. Uh, There's just not enough room for it to turn around um, in here. So let's, let me go right up to my toolbox. Right, full lock. Try it other way. No, this it's pretty crap turning radius. So let's get an ill and see what it's like on an ill now. Right, so this is about its limit. Uh, see it's not, right it's not overly steep yeah that that is probably it's it's not gonna it's not gonna get up that so we'll leave Yeah, right, that is its limit. So let's uh, start dismantling it, see whether we can make it better. <laughs> Right, so run into a few little problems. Uh, I don't think the parts that I got were designed for this car, but they did fit. Uh, I need some extra parts to be able to fit these and them. Um, I think I do anyway. It's either that or I'm just doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, we're we're standing a little bit higher. I got this. Uh, this is actual actual stainless steel checker plate. It's not just a sticker. It is actually stainless steel, which I'm quite impressed with. That. It looks pretty cool. I have ordered some more. Uh, there's some sections for these bits here. Um, I've got a bit for this top bit round here, and I think I might have ordered some for across here as well, but I, I can't remember. I think they're coming from China. I can't remember when I ordered them uh, a while ago. But let's uh, give it a test and see what difference is now that we've done these mods. So we'll get set up. We'll do the same tests again and uh, and just have a look. All right, so we'll do speed tests again. Pretty much length of the toolbox because I've, I've still got my rug there. I'm set up on that climbing section. So... This is speed run. Definitely, it's definitely slower. Um, you try the steering. The steering seems to be a lot better already. So I'll just uh, I'll try the turning circle. Oh yeah, much tighter. I think it feels like there's some snagging somewhere. It's like a bit jerky. It's not a smooth run. I think I might have actually made it worse, but the, but the turning circle is a lot better and the ground clearance is a lot better. I think I need to actually get a few more 
um, mods for it to make it a better rig um, also what I'm going to do is because these are the uh, the axles that came off it I'm going to make a little trailer uh, that attaches to the back of that using these get some more wheels for it and uh, make a little car trailer and then uh, might have ordered another drift car <laughs> yeah I know I know uh, but let's uh, get a test on this ramp see how this one works out right well, let's give it a go I think it's going to be even more top heavy now because it has lifted it yeah just not got that power oh yeah not as good but it does look pretty cool must admit probably one to sit on shelf looking pretty i think unless i can uh, get some proper upgrades for it and turn it into a actual decent remote control car right well thanks for watching um i don't know what to make of that i think putting them axles on might have actually made it worse um i think they were actually designed for a different model um, but the sizes were pretty close like I say, I did have to do a couple of modifications to get them to fit. Um, it's a shame I couldn't get the, the new suspension and everything to fit on. Uh, that's something I'll have to look at in future video. Um, but, I mean, it's still a very good looking model, I must admit. And these extra stainless steel touches uh, are going to make it look pretty awesome i must admit um but for now we're gonna leave this alone move on to something else and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching oh remember subscribe as well